AMP. It's your world, we just live. The Timberwolves were all business as they came through the tunnel, determined to give their fans a reason to celebrate tonight. Happy Holidays, everyone. Welcome to our coverage of the NBA on 2K Sports. Hello, everyone. I'm Brian Anderson, joined by Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg. We'll hear from reporter Ali LaForce in a moment. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for Stephen Curry. And the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. That's not what you want, and I'm sure it's something he's well aware of. Let's take a look at our starters for the Golden State Warriors. Kaminga plays the four with Draymond sliding up to the five. Then it's Andrew Wiggins. Then there's Stephen Curry. And it's Mr. Clutch in at the point guard position. And for the Timberwolves. McDaniels and Towns make up the two forward spots. Conley and Ann are the one and the two. And it's Reed in at center, filling out the middle. And Clark, for these two teams, a lot of their action runs through the front court. You're exactly right, B.A., and I think that's where the game's going to ultimately be decided. I mean, we have to see which set of these bigs is going to impose their will, not just offensively, but defensively, too. Here we go. It'll be the Warriors off the tip. And stolen by Edwards. Outside Conley. This one for three. It's rebounded by Golden State. They come into this one having outplayed the Grizzlies last time. <laughs> yeah, that was a hard-fought win for them. Couldn't finish the job in regulation, but things came together for them in overtime. And it could turn out to be one of their biggest wins of the season. I mean, just because of the way they came through when it mattered most. That's, that's clutch play that could serve them well going forward. Curry looking it over. Sinks it! What range from downtown! This is exactly the kind of unique range that Curry has. I mean, as soon as he crosses half court, you got to get up on it. Here's Edwards. He hits the back iron and sinks it. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Here's Mr. Clutch. Turned in an outstanding game against Memphis. And that one's good. Green. The Timberwolves have gone one for three so far. And Edwards slams it in. Boy, how about the strength of Edwards? Confident in taking on defenders and finishing. Grant, when it comes to Anthony Edwards, fair to say he's meeting expectations so far. Oh, no question, B.A. The first overall pick in the 2020 draft. Edwards has been anything but a bust. <laughs> now we are seeing him trying to compete for titles. Here's Conley. The Warriors getting their last shot to go. A shot from the mid-range. And off the front iron, and in it goes. A versatile shooter like Conley can make the mid-range work for him, even if it's not his best shot. Here's Mr. Clutch. Pass to Kaminga. They double him with McDaniels. Wiggins from long range. Towns with a rebound. And just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. That gives him the lead. Edwards has got six. Edwards flexing on them now. Bully ball inside. The Warriors have gone three of five here in the opening quarter. Here's Mr. Clutch. Just over two and a half minutes played here in the first. And the three-pointer goes. Mr. Clutch has gotten his second bucket on the night. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. 
And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Now here's Reed. He had an 18-point outing in their last game against New York. Clock at six. Here's Edwards. And the layup is good off the glass. Give him eight points now. Pounding it inside early and often, setting a physical tone. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Yeah, you never want to let shots at the rim go uncontested. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, that's the message they were sending with that foul. Nothing easy inside. That one's no good. And playoff success has been rare in Minnesota. Last year was the first series win in 20 years, Clark. How about this fact? That was LeBron's rookie season. 2004 BA. That's the last time the Timberwolves advanced in the playoffs. So T Wolves fans, I think, really savored the trip to the conference finals and are looking for more from this group going forward. Now here's Conley. Defense is right there. Pass to Edwards. Fades. The rebound by Wiggins. Boy, he's got to be disappointed in the result there. I mean, the defender really didn't make any impact at all. I'll tell you what, the defense was lucky there. I mean, leave him that open from range, he'll typically knock it down. Towns finds McDaniels. Back to Towns. It's Edwards on the wing. He's covered by Curry. And the basket by Edwards. I tell you what, Edwards has a really nice, smooth release, and that shot looked in the moment it left his hand. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Thanks. Well, Mr. Clutch in their last game against the Grizzlies delivered quite a performance. He scored 45 points and hit a bunch of threes. No surprises there. Such an impressive effort. The team relied on him, and he delivered. Thanks, Allie. Absolutely. He was a one-man show in that one, Grant. Yeah, he was not going to let them lose that game. We'll see if he comes in with that same mentality tonight. Yeah, you know, every night's different. They may try to double him. Might force him to adjust or force him to make plays with the pass instead. We'll see. The Timberwolves trail. And it's cleared by Stephen Curry. Everything right except the finish. Have to keep focus all the way through the play. Pass to Wiggins. Ooh, McDaniels with a steal. Alexander Walker, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. First two foul. Here's Towns. Yes, great play by Connolly to set it up. It's a tie ball game. Yeah, exactly. It sure is. Plenty of second opportunities. Eight of their last ten points from the paint, but the defense still continues to back away and not show any aggressiveness. The Timberwolves have got eight of 13 attempts to go. Pass to Alexander Walker. top Alexander Walker he had an 18 point outing in their last game against New York the kick out to Conley and the go ahead bucket no good Golden State has gone four of nine from beyond the three point line in this first quarter back to Jackson Davis a minute 42 left to play in the first Mr. Clutch and he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. It's going to be on Nas Reed. We're edging closer to the season's midway point. For teams still trying to find their stride, Clark, how do they stay positive? B.A., it's one of the hardest things to do. I mean, it's not easy at all. It takes a coach who really knows how to massage and motivate his players. And it takes a group of guys. Internal leadership within the team, I think, is critical when you're going through a stretch like this. Now here's Alexander Walker. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. Five on the clock. Ingles passes to Alexander Walker. Overhealed. The shot by Alexander Walker, no good. The Warriors leading. Outside heel. Pass to Mr. Clutch. A minute 
minute four left in the first quarter. And here's Jackson Davis. Here's Mr. Clutch. Outside Moody for three. It's rebounded by Minnesota. Towns has got four rebounds now to the paint. Here's Dillingham, covered by Jackson Davis. Angles, a screen on heel. <laughs> Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. He got him good there. I mean, that's why the shot was so far off. Minnesota shooting their initial free throws of the game here. He misses the free throw. Edwards, he's checked in for Carl Anthony Towns. Good on the second one. 34 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Here's Mr. Clutch. Pass to Jackson Davis. Here's Mr. Clutch. From the arc. The rebound by Ingles. Here's Dillingham. No made baskets yet. Here's Garza. Lays it up and banks it in. And the Timberwolves lead by one. They're punishing those late defensive rotations. Getting good looks inside throughout the half. The deep three. A nice shot by Mr. Clutch. Mr. Clutch has got 13 now. Plenty of offense in this closely contested first quarter of play. The Warriors on top. Up two. And quarter number two will get underway just after this short break. And we hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even on the scoreboard so far. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Warriors. You know, so far in this one, these guys have been knocking it down from distance. You've got to like their confidence as this game continues. They're on a nice roll. And from the jump, they've also clearly been focused on running effective plays here tonight. And there's been a lot of high-quality distribution from them on the floor. We've got Nikhil Alexander-Walker. Edwards out there with Dillingham. Then it's Joe Ingles. And it's Garza in at the five, down low. That's the five to begin in the second quarter for the T-Wolves. Shot clock at five. Driving in. A nice shot by Mr. Clutch. 15 points in the game. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. And you know that's how it goes with him. I mean, his hot streaks, guys, don't last minutes. They last days. Now here's Alexander Walker. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. He gets it in there. They've now had assist on each of their last three buckets. Here's Wiggins. Pass to heel. Here's Mr. Clutch. 15 points in the game. Garza grabs a board. And for Minnesota, they're shooting an amazing 61%. Looking confident. Inside. And he banks in the layup. Garza's got his second basket of the game. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. You know, the defense has really been kept off balance because of the outstanding pass. Four straight field goals have been made off an assist. A nice shot by Mr. Clutch. Tell you what, he has been feeling it, guys. And the best game plan right now, it's elementary. Just keep feeding him. Let him eat. Edwards, the pass to Garza. And they waste no time getting those three points back. Garza's got five points in the quarter. Yeah, put your head down and go to work. That's what they need to do. Yeah, these teams trading punches right now. I mean, it's table tennis. Back and forth we go. And from what we've seen so far in his career, Anthony Edwards wants to be that guy in crunch time, Clark. Yeah, I love his mentality. Not only in that he wants to be the guy, but he also wants to elevate his teammates. And he plays the game with an exuberance and a joy and a freshness that is, you know, quite good to see. But I like his attack mentality and his willingness 
to step into leading his team by example at both ends of the floor. Now here's Heal. Still no points. And it falls all over the rim and in. And the Warriors lead by two. Love to see that kind of activity. He just makes things happen. Here's Dillingham. He's coming off a 10-point game against New York. Ingles passes to Alexander Walker. On the take. Here's Dillingham. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Dillingham was the sixth man during his lone college season, Greg. And he proved to be instant offense. Oh, he's got elite speed. He's great at creating space, and he's... ...incredibly shifty. You know, he reminds me of Lou Williams in terms of physique and ability. Reed's checked in for Minnesota. Mike Conley comes in for Alexander Walker. Curry rises up and hits the three. And they've really been more consistent from the field this quarter. Adding to their lead. And you see that field goal percentage from the game steadily heading north. Offensive board. The Warriors lead by four. to Mr. Clutch. Down low. Here's Kuminga. And so he draws the foul headed to the line to shoot a pair. Looking at lineups around the league, Grant, seems like they're becoming more positionless than ever before. Yeah, you're spot on, B.A. To the point where some people feel all-star voting shouldn't be by position anymore. It should be by merit. The second free throw is good. The Timberwolves have gone four for six here on the second. Outside McDaniels. Back to Conley. 
Edwards against Curry. Inside! Edwards lays it in! Edwards is rolling right now. If I'm his teammates, he's getting a rock every time. Stay there, stay there, stay there. Here's Mr. Clutch. He's guarded by Conley. Here's Mr. Clutch. Give him 20. Green for three. Green able to hit from three. They've been pretty lax with their perimeter defense, giving up a lot of three-pointers. And their defensive rotations have been non-existent. Towns a screen on Curry. Edwards with it, now guarded by Curry. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. It's on Stephen Curry. How about the work ethic of Anthony Edwards? Not to mention that linebacker build and the sweet shooting stroke. But what he wants most is to see his team succeed. That's what you love about A.E. And the first one at the line is good. A superstar level talent for sure. Anthony Edwards is awesome, but I like his competitive spirit as much as his skills. Waters is checked in for the Warriors. And he makes both free throws. Get him himself. And so it's the Golden State Warriors. A sizable lead of 14 at the break. Building this lead up in large part because of how well they're shooting it. We'll be right back after this word. We appreciate you joining us at halftime. Tonight we tip off with a check on the injury situation. Injuries are a part of the game, we know that. You guys have endured some yourselves. Well, that's gonna happen in this league, Ernie, but you know, some of us didn't need to miss 200 games. Yeah, I may have missed a lot of games, Kenny, but in my career, I broke a lot of backboards. More backboards than bones. Now let's talk about that first half. What an impressive performance for the Warriors. Their three-point shooting, wow. I didn't get a math degree, but I didn't go to Shaq University either. I do know a little thing about threes. Yeah, Kenny, I heard you applied to Shaq University. Denied. Thanks, as always, for watching. Let's head back to Brian Anderson and crew for the start of the second half. drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. And Minnesota with possession here. It's a 14-point game. Next up, they'll face the Hawks in Atlanta. That's the first of a three-game trip out on the road for them. Kick it off the second half. Here's Steve Kerr's five. Wiggins and Kuminga at the forward. A lot of bounce there. Then there's Draymond Green. Then there's Stephen Curry. And it's Mr. Clutch in at the point guard position. Already a very confident player. Knocking down those free throws only fuels that. Kaminga with a screen on Conley. Count that one. Mr. Clutch has got 22. And staring at a sizable deficit, the defense has to tighten up. And if it doesn't, this is only going to get uglier. I mean, that's no way to defend a player of his caliber. Gives us a chance to catch up with Ali LaForce. Well, the Timberwolves are one of the biggest teams in the association, and Coach Chris Finch said, quote, that's how we're built. It's part of our identity. That's what we have to lean into. We want to be big at the rim and force our size on opponents. Brian, he loves to see other teams hesitant to venture into the paint. Clearing footsteps, right? Ali, thanks. Curry against Edwards. And here on the second half of play, we're just over a minute in. Off the mark. Had a chance there to trim it to single digits. Here's Mr. Clutch. 22 points for him. 
Green, a screen. Here's Mr. Clutch. Green, the pass to Curry. And here's Kaminga for three. Golden State with a rebound. Oh, look at the effort from Draymond. Boy, throwing himself on the offensive glass and being rewarded for it. That's the energy that Draymond Green brings. Towns outside. Now here's Conley. Defense right on him. Pass to Edwards. Five to shoot. Oh, Edwards just pulling his way inside. He's done everything he can tonight, trying to keep this team competitive. Kaminga with a screen on Conley. Mr. Clutch passes to Kaminga. And Kaminga throws it down. What he might lack in height at the four spot, he makes up for it with his burst. Timberwolves trail by 13. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Outside Edwards. Fires it. Edwards can't get that one to fall. The Warriors lead by 13. A nice shot by Mr. Clutch. Mr. Clutch has got four points in the quarter. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. If it's working, keep working it. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on. Now here's Edwards. 22 points for him. Defense gets burned by Edwards' ball handling ability. I mean, this guy is athletic and can really move. On the wing, Curry. Tipped. Pass to Mr. Clutch. Takes the three. Gets rebounded by Minnesota. Towns has got six rebounds in the game. Conley goes in. Now here's Reed. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Nice job by Reed there. Getting the defense off balance a bit and drawing the foul. First trip to the line for him here. Yeah, guys. I mean, he's been a very steady hand for Shooting them when two. it comes to his free throw shooting. The first free throw is good. I like the fact that Reed is pretty crafty. He's got a good understanding and feel for the game. I mean, he makes plays, especially around the hoop, that other big men can't. Alexander Walker, he's checked in for McDaniels. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. It can help a big man's game to hit those free throws. It keeps the defense from getting too aggressive. And out of bounds, Minnesota will have it. With a short break, we look at some of the stingiest defenses in the NBA. The Warriors, number one, fifth best, Minnesota. Both teams really take pride in their defense and shutting one another down, which is kind of refreshing to see in a league widely dominated by offense. Just over three and a half minutes through the third. Outside Edwards. Reed sets a screen. The three. No luck on that one. You know, defensively, you just can't afford to give him that much room. They're fortunate that he missed that one. Here's Mr. Clutch. 24 points for him. And unlike some other guys, missing a wide open look won't hurt his confidence at all. Alexander Walker with it. Wiggins on him. Minnesota again missing. The Warriors lead by 11. Field passes to Mr. Clutch. Pass to Jackson Davis. Good on the bucket. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter guys, too. Now here's Reed. He has six. Towns finds Edwards. The 
Six on the shot clock. Shoots from 12. Rebound by Mr. Clutch. Mr. Clutch has got rebound number five here tonight. Yeah, just a little off his game this quarter. He's trying to work his way into a rhythm. They have no answer defensively inside. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point-blank range. Can't happen. Now here's Conley. He's averaging more than 12 a game. A consistent threat on offense. And the basket by Edwards. Love the pass from Reed that time. These guys love playing with him. And Steve Kerr calls timeout. Coach wants to speak to his guys, maybe alter some of the game plan. Garzis checked in for Reed. And it's Ingles in for Edwards. And Golden State also making a switch. Looney's checked in for Anderson. The Warriors lead by 13. Looney, a screen on Conley. Here's Mr. Clutch. And the shot's good. Mr. Clutch has got eight here in this quarter. That's not the kind of streak you want to be part of defensively. Tighten it up, fellas. Outside, Alexander Walker. Just five on the clock. Towns is screen on heel. Here's Alexander Walker. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That one on heel. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Warriors. Well, you know, throughout this game, they've shot the ball extremely well from downtown. Their shooters are getting open and letting it fly. And we can't forget about Shoot how two. ferocious they've been cutting to the rim, just going right at defenders and finding ways to finish. That free throw, no good. Edwards looking for an opening. 4-3. Sinks the trade. Edwards got 29. Challenge with defending Edwards. He's a three-level score. The Warriors lead by 20. They've got Joe Ingles. Dillingham out there with Edwards. Then it's Nikhil Alexander-Walker. And it's Garza in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. So that's the lineup for Minnesota. Here's Mr. Clutch. Down to five on the shot clock. With the drive. Here's Green. Wiggins for three. That shot off the mark. Well, he just hasn't found his rhythm tonight. Partly because he's gotten fewer touches. Kaminga, he's checked in for the Warriors. Curry comes in for Waters. Substitution for the Warriors. Kaminga. Stephen Curry. Outside Edwards. Pass to Dillingham. Back to Edwards. Well, Clark, we're used to seeing a coaching carousel, but in recent years, even winning teams have changed coaches. Well, you know, that is true, and at least the profession is getting a pay raise overall, but for teams looking to break through, B.A., changing the coach still seems to be the default button that most teams like and are more comfortable pushing. And it's the Warriors with the ball. The Timberwolves getting their last shot to go. Just five to shoot. Stolen by Ingles. And here we go. The Timberwolves on the run. It's rebounded by Golden State. Earlier in the game, they held a 25-point lead. 
Their next game playing at home as the Pacers come to town. That'll be the first of two games on their home court. And the upcoming schedule for the Minnesota Timberwolves. On Monday, they'll be playing against Clint Capella and the Atlanta Hawks. And then on Wednesday, they'll go up against Klay Thompson and the Dallas Mavericks. They're looking at a lot of road contests in the next stretch, but this squad has been very good away from home, and I think that continues. The Timberwolves making a switch here. Conley's checked in. Back to Edwards. Over Curry, and he sinks the 11-footer. Edwards has got 13 in the second half. And with the way he can rise, Edwards able to get that shot off anytime. Mr. Clutch passes to Kaminga. There's the three. Fires in the triple. And the Warriors lead by 21. This guy is simply having a great game from outside. We're in the fourth quarter here. Just under two and a half minutes gone by. The shot by Garza, no good. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. And it's been a well-rounded performance. I mean, strong rebound, and you've certainly been, at, been at, the, at the center of it. But it's been good on a number of levels. Oh, it's blocked by Green. Green takes great pride in his defense now. He loves the nine shots at the rim and playing bigger than his 6'8 frame would lead you to believe. Hits the trifecta. And this is how he shines. He's a big part of their floor spacing. And you know what? It's all about the long distance game for him tonight. He's getting it done from out there. Now here's Edwards. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. The Warriors have gotten half of their attempts to fall in the fourth. Two for four now. Mr. Clutch passes to Wiggins. Here's Mr. Clutch. He's guarded by Conley. Right side Curry. Pass to Mr. Clutch. And here's Kaminga for three. Edwards pulls it in. And it's Edwards with the ball for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Here's Ingles. Conley with the ball. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Ingles. Conley, so crafty with that left hand of his. The veteran knows his way around the hoop. Curry finds Kaminga. Here's Mr. Clutch. And we hear about the unwritten rules of sports sometimes, Clark. What are some of those in the NBA? Well, you try not to ever foul an airborne player. I think most players are really sensitive to that. Uh, don't disrespect the other team. Be professional and sportsmanlike when you've got a margin of victory that doesn't need to be added on to. In other words, don't run up the score. Uh, don't try to get numbers for the sake of numbers. Um, play the game, play to win, and do it with respect at all times. For Minnesota, they've gotten four of nine shots to go in during this fourth quarter. Pass to Edwards. Launches a three. Rebound by Mr. Clutch. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they've rebounded the ball tremendously well. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. McDaniels passes to Conley. Back to Daniels. Six to shoot. Pass to Conley from deep three-point land. And it's cleared by Stephen Curry. Curry's got six rebounds in the game. And here is Green. Kaminga with a screen on Conley. There's the drive. Kaminga's shot is off. Minnesota's gone one for five shooting from the arc here in the fourth. Outside McDaniels. Double team on Towns. And here's Edwards outside. Let's it go from deep. And Reed with a basket on the assist by Edwards. This is a big part of Reed's value. I mean, he's proficient from deep. And he's got a quick trigger, too. 
Here's Mr. Clutch. Pass to Green. Outside Curry. Green with a screen on Conley. Mr. Clutch passes to Curry. Sends it home from three-point land. Curry's got nine points now in the second half. Minnesota's gone two of six so far in the fourth. Back to Conley. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. The one constant in the NBA card, the constant movement of players. Yeah, and I think you've got to try to look at the positive side of that, the freedom that players have to play where they choose to play in many cases. I think that's uh, the right of any employee to be able to go where they feel they can best optimize their individual and team situations. I think it allows teams to rebuild on the fly and get competitive more quickly. And uh, I like that aspect of it. I don't like to see it overwhelming a season, but I do like the fact the players have that option and that freedom. Garza's checked in for the Timberwolves. Dillingham comes in for Conley. Here's Mr. Clutch. The three-pointer off the mark. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. It's safe to say they have dominated this game. The game wasn't even as close as the score says in a great win for the Warriors. Pretty clear who the better team was today. They dominated in just about every phase of this game, Brad. But B.A., it's almost hard to think what didn't go well for them. Their plan, their execution, everything was absolutely on point. And reaching a nice milestone, an even 20 wins on the year. They've met three times this season, and this is their second win. It's turning into a little bit of a grudge match, and they'll be fired up for the next game. A win there, and they'll finish the season 3-1 to one against Minnesota. And as it was happening, as it was building, you knew this was a monster game for Mr. Clutch. And, you know, there was no stopping him tonight. Whenever he got the ball, he was looking to score, and rightly so. Conley's checked in for the Timberwolves. He launched that one from way outside. Mr. Clutch has got 42 in the game. Their strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. Certainly. I mean, they saw a weakness in the perimeter defense and took advantage of it. Now here's Conley, and here's Edwards outside. Sinks it from distance. Edwards has got 36 points. Didn't take Edwards long to get those three points back right back at you. Fires away from way outside. Mr. Clutch can't hit. And it's Edwards with the ball for the T-Wolves. They throw good, Edwards. And both free throws good for Edwards. Smooth sailing for Golden State. Here's Mr. Clutch. Are you serious? That three's off the mark. Shot clock and game clock. One second differential. Fires for three. Nails it from three. Mr. Clutch has got 45 points. They really came in with the right mindset today. I can guarantee you their flight home will be filled with some smiles. Yep, to have a stress-free win on the road, very satisfying. The fans are already headed for the exit. And it's all from three-point range. And so it's the Warriors taking care of business in this one. To walk into enemy territory and deliver a performance like that, that says a lot about this squad. They really came in looking confident and didn't let anything shake them. This is what a dominant team looks like. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Clark Kellogg, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching. We'll see you later.